Hey guys, the chicken is here and we are back today with another Boom Beach video. In today's video guys, we've been mentioning it at the beginning of the video for the last few times, but I finally got the uh, the bundles before they expired. Of course, using that code chicken in the shop. It does help support the channel, keep the lights on, all that good stuff. And let's open up our free trader crate. We actually have an attack plan for 450 diamonds, which isn't that bad, but I don't need to upgrade my troops anymore, I don't think. Oh. Well, I, aren't I the fool? The April fool, if you will. Um, so, let's get into it. Let's get into it. So, it's been a rough day of warships, for sure. Um, nothing but nothing but losses. Um, at least we went against some heavy hitters, Nightwater, Kaiser, both former global number ones. We did win one match against a guy that we uh, severely out -teched. But the problem is now... As we're saving up for a bunch of stuff, this is what's going to happen. We'll probably fall back to 22 at some point, maybe even lower as we save and uh, everyone else is climbing and unlocking stuff. Um, let's go over the tech tree here just briefly. So 123 keys. Now we could spend all this right now on Kavan and troop damage and probably get back to, you know, 2450-ish maybe, but that's not what we're interested in doing. Now I said in yesterday's video. The goal for me for this season is not top 500 because, I mean, we could probably park right now and, and make that. Um, the goal is to get at that top 50. So <clears throat> my plan is hopefully these four nodes plus heavy choppers and then maybe a little bit of backfilling after uh, is enough to get the job done. I mean, if we have to get Seekers, so be it. We'll try it out. But um, I'm going to do everything that we can to, you know, place as high as we can. Now... This is actually nice. I just want to talk about my current status, then I'll go into the current metas and what's working, what's not working. Um, it's it's nice being in this position because it, it takes a little bit of the pressure off of making the top 500, which you know I completely put on myself. It's not like it's there for everybody. Um, yeah, let's see where we fell off, dude. I mean, we're still in the top 50 right now, which is crazy because I feel like we had a pretty bad day. Um, but... Yeah, it's nice because it takes the pressure off of making the top 500 because I feel like that's kind of guaranteed at this point. And even if it's not, for whatever reason, if we fall off super badly, um, we're still going to get a rank 13 start next season. So, um, yeah, that's something, I guess. And, yeah, so what is working right now? What is working right now, at least what's going against me, is Seekers and lots of them. Uh, Nightwana might be the only person not using Seekers. He's using Warriors. That was actually yesterday's hit. <laughs> Um, so, 311, he actually fizzled, which is weird, because he was probably the best guy that I played against. Um, but let's take a look at what Kaiser did against us, because this will probably be a pretty high-level stuff here. So he's got Bullet on that very far side, interesting. So he must be running Seekers from the right, I would imagine. And then he flares him over there. Hmm, I wonder what the reasoning is behind that. Maybe to try to avoid the hot pot and keep them up in that kind of right side pocket? I'm not really sure. Why run them through all those mines? Alright, so he's got bullet coming up here. A very long line of seekers. Speed serum as soon as they get into the death zone. And then taunts on bullet. Oh, I think it's just because of the positioning of bullet is to get him away from the seekers. That's the idea. But you see, even this guy fizzled, which um, is kind of crazy. Most of them didn't. Um, but I mean, unless the other guy's also running Seekers, then you're probably fine to, uh, you know, pull a hit like this. Um, but yeah, I'm hoping once we go 7, this kind of stops the, the, the uh, Speed Serum Seeker bullet stuff, because we're probably not going to be compact base at 70 yards anymore. I don't know if anyone actually is 7 yet. Um, 2, 4... Two, four, six. Okay. So global number one it hasn't gone seventy R. This is stone, I believe. I don't think he went seven. Two, four, six. Which is interesting for the seeker players because seventy R means more troop damage. Uh, two, four, six. Lots of six engine bases. All these spread guys, they're just trying to slow down seekers, so it still kinda means the same thing, right? Like, um, by the time we get to Seven, it's going to be more so this style base. Um, he looks like he's parked. So there's only nine players in Legendary so far. 
I think Legendary would give us a good shot at the top 50. And if not, it gives us a higher starting rank next season, so that's kind of the the thing to shoot for. Um, interesting. So a lot of these guys are going with spread base now. And I think the only reason to go compact at this point is just to try and stop Seeker, like we saw in Night Water Fizzle. Um, other than that, you know, if you want to uh, have a chance of winning on time, you want to spread it out a bit. So the reason we're hoarding the keys and tokens is to try to get to seven, get the heavy choppers, get that good stuff. Um, and uh, do I, did I have any interesting hits today? So this was the only one that we won, and this was a guy with similar tech to us. Oh god, that was a brutal attack. I don't want to show that one. Um, let's show... Do you have any really good secret hits against us? Did we show Coleb? Did he do the bullet? Okay, so this is a... Let's see this. So this is bullet... <clears throat> bullet and seekers from kind of the middle, but it seems like everybody drops them from the right. It's funny, I haven't really been watching a lot of the Seeker replays because I'm not using Seeker, so that's not really of any benefit to me. Um, yeah, it's interesting. I wonder if we move to Shock Launcher because it seems like Bullet, like, once he gets here with the Taunt, it just kind of negates both of them. So, I mean, why not put another Shock Launcher, like, over here or something that forces him to use a Shock or something like that in another direction because... The, the Sky Shield, I don't know. It, it, it was very hot for a minute, but it seems like people have kind of cracked how to attack it better. Um, I am still kind of shocked that the Seekers can sit am amidst all of this stuff. Um, and I mean, I guess the Speed Serum really helps. You know, because otherwise he probably would have fizzled there. So, yeah. A lot of different, uh, lo a lot of different tools the Seeker players have to use right now. <laughs> Which kind of makes me worried about continuing to play and not parking it when I was close to 24.50. Um, but I don't know. I don't know. We'll see what happens. We'll see what happens. I mean, by the time we get... I mean, we could get troop damage in Kavan and Laser Rangers might, you know, tear this up too. Because we still have, what? We, we have zero troop damage right now, so... The offense is still severely lacking, so... I don't know. I've just got to try to survive um, over the next few days. Probably going to drop a lot, guys. I'm not going to lie. Um, just saving up keys and tokens and stuff, so. Um, in terms of the main base, we have made some progress on our boom pads. Got a builder token. We got a chest. We get some crystals. Uh, do I want building bl blueprint or do I want an attack plan? I think I want building blueprint. And open a supply chest. Alright. So, yeah, that's the progress that we have so far made on the boom pass this season. We still got a lot of them left to do. A lot of missions left, but we also have, you know, over two weeks to finish this off, so it's not a huge rush. So that's where we're at for today, guys. A little uh, daily update on the Chicken's Warship. I do hope that helps you out. Let me know how you're making out down below in the comments, and we'll check in the next one, guys. Chicken out. Bang, bang.